All right, so you want to ditch those tourist traps. Uh, this time we're going off the beaten path, taking a deep dive into the heart of County Monaghan, Ireland. And let me tell you, it's more than just rolling hills and those quiet lakes. Th those are pretty spectacular in their own right. Right, we're looking for hilly gems, those little details that make a place unique. And Monaghan delivers. To really understand it, you've got to start with its landscape. Specifically, those drumlins. Drumlins. Okay, now you're using geography words. Break it down for me. Imagine, right, a massive sheet of ice, a glacier, slowly carving its way across the land. It leaves these smooth, kind of teardrop-shaped hills in its wake. Those are drumlins. That's what gives Monaghan that rolling countryside. So it's not just pretty scenery, it's glacial history. Exactly. And those drumlins, they actually create these little microclimates, influencing everything, farming, the plants, even where the animals hang out. You know, there are even old stories about fairies living in the drumlins. Shows you how much the landscape is woven into local folklore, you know. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. The stories behind the scenery. And speaking of stories... We can't talk about Monaghan without mentioning Patrick Cavanaugh. Absolutely. One of Ireland's greatest poets, and his connection to Monaghan ran deep. And luckily for us, you can literally walk in his footsteps on the Patrick Cavanaugh Trail. It's incredible, isn't it? You're not just walking through the countryside, you're walking through his poetry. Imagine standing in a field, sun on your face, and you come across a line from his poem etched in stone. A road tasted like soot and rain. It brings that sense of place, that longing right to life. Wow, I can practically feel it. And if you really want to feel that connection, there's the Patrick Kavanaugh Center. Oh, yeah, I read about that. What's it like? Like stepping into his imagination. They've even recreated his childhood bedroom. You can practically smell the peat fire, hear the scratch of his pen. That's incredible, bringing the artist and their art together. Exactly. And Monaghan's not just about literary giants, though. Kavanaugh is certainly a big one. It's a place of diverse experiences, just like those drumlin landscapes. Okay, I'm intrigued. What else does Monaghan have in store for us? So you're telling me there's more to Monaghan than meets the eye? Tell me more. Oh, absolutely. Monaghan's history is just as captivating as its poetry and its landmarks. Well, they've got stories for days. All right, you've got my attention. Lay it on me. Well, you can't talk about Monaghan without mentioning Castle Lisley Estate. And I'm not talking about just any old castle. This place is incredible. A mix of Gothic revival and Scottish baronial architecture. Wow, that's quite the combination. It is, and it's hosted some pretty impressive guests, too, like Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill. Now that's a name I recognize. Right. And get this, the Rolling Stones stayed there too. <laughs> no way. The Rolling Stones in a castle in Monaghan. Okay, now I have to know more about that. But what about those of us who aren't interested in rock and roll history? What else does Monaghan have for history buffs? Well, if you really want to delve into the past, there's the Monaghan County Museum. They've got artifacts going all the way back to the Bronze Age. Wow. Talk about blast from the past. <laughs> exactly. It's amazing to get a glimpse into the lives of the people who were here centuries ago. And speaking of centuries ago, I read something about a cathedral. Ah, you must mean St. McCartan's Cathedral. It's stunning, those stained glass windows and the stonework. It's a beautiful example of the county's religious heritage. Okay, so you've got castles, museums, and cathedrals. What about something for the art and culture lovers out there? Ah, well, Monaghan has something really special, Carrick Macross Lace. I think I've heard of that. Isn't it really intricate? Incredibly. It's all handmade, these delicate floral patterns. It's like watching a dying art come to life at the Carrick Macross Lace Gallery. So it's pretty rare then. Oh, yeah. They use this unique technique called cut work to get those almost three-dimensional designs. Queen Victoria was a fan. Wow. From rock stars to royalty, Monaghan sure knows how to make an impression. But let's switch gears one last time. What about those of us who love spending time in nature? Any hidden gems there? Well, we've talked about those beautiful Dremlin landscapes. And of course, there's the Patrick Cavanaugh Trail, which is amazing. But for a tree escape into nature, you have to visit Rossmore Forest Park. Okay, tell me more. Imagine walking through these ancient woodlands. You can hear birds singing, sunlight filtering through the leaves. You might even stumble across a hidden waterfall. It's truly magical. Sounds like the perfect place for a peaceful stroll. Oh. You know, it's amazing to me how Monaghan seems to have it all. History, art, nature. 
Right. And it's not just about having all these different elements. It's how they're all connected. You see it everywhere you go in Monaghan, those little threads that weave it all together, the landscape that inspired Kavanaugh's poetry, the history that seems to seep from every stone, yeah. even the way traditional crafts have been passed down through generations. It's all connected. You know, it really brings that sense of connection home for me. That little detail we read about the Blackwater River, the one that flows right through Monaghan Town. The Blackwater River. It's like this constant presence, you know, yeah. flowing through the heart of it all. Absolutely. Rivers aren't just geography, are they? They're threads through time, witnessing everything. Seeing Monaghan grow and change over the centuries. Exactly. And the Blackwater has its own stories to tell, you know. It used to be a vital artery for transporting goods. Really? I never would have pictured that. Oh, yeah. They used to float huge rafts of timber downriver from the forests of Ulster. Wow, that's incredible. A whole other side to Monaghan. Right. And it wasn't always easy. There are stories about those old timber rafts, you know, about daring rescues during floods, bridges nearly swept away. It's all part of the story. Wow, those old bridges must have seen a lot. They have. The black water has shaped Monaghan in so many ways, big and small. It really ties everything together, doesn't it? The landscape, the history, yeah. even the poetry, yeah. in a way. It's all connected. That's the beauty of it, right? Just like the black water meanders through the county, it connects us to a deeper story, a story that's still unfolding. Beautifully said. So to everyone listening, if you're looking for something truly special, Monaghan, Ireland, should be the top of your list. Explore those Drumlin Hills. Walk in the footsteps of Patrick Cavanaugh. And who knows, you might even hear the Blackwater whispering its stories as you wander by. You never know what you might discover. And on that note, we'll wrap things up for this deep dive. Be sure to check out the show notes for links to all the sources we explore today. Your journey into the heart of Monaghan doesn't have to end here.